The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus had come into the temple area, the chief priests and the elders of the people approached him as he was teaching, and said, By what authority do you do these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it for me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do things. Where was the baptism, where was John's baptism from? Was it of heavenly or human origin. They discussed this among themselves and said, if we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, then why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowds, for they will regard John as a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, we do not know. He himself said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. The Gospel of the Day presents such a critically harsh and uncharitably closed attitude of the chief priests, scribes, and elders towards the person of Jesus and his ministries. This is expressed in their volatile question to Jesus. By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? The context of today's gospel is the presence of Jesus in the city of Jerusalem. The popularity of Jesus was on the rise. He had a great welcome to the city of Jerusalem. The impact of Jesus was also on the rise. He had performed a daring cleansing of the Jerusalem temple. All these factors had greatly disturbed the religious leaders. Yes, as we know, disturbances always cause a lot of reactions and make us to think so differently. And even our relationships can also go in a different directions. And there will be no room for the humility and acceptance, though the mistakes are in our side. This is what happened. In Jesus, they perceived a threat, a threat to their attitude of subjugating people to their yoke than to service of God. In Jesus, they sensed a danger, a danger to their personal wishes and agenda of having a monopoly over religion. In Jesus, they identified a menace, a menace to their comfort-rendering style of spirituality and way of life. So they sought to put Jesus to, a, to the task and questioned his authority on doing such deeds and performing such actions. Here what we see, their eyes were close to see the goodness of the Lord. Their hearts had become cloaked to examine their own malign conscience. 
their lives were blocked to be willing to make necessary changes for the good. Instead, they only found fault with the Lord. They only become critical of the ways of the Lord. How many times we have done the same to our parents, teachers, and the spiritual directors. When the heart is close to God's spirit, the focus dwells only external and peripheral factors. The heart gets close to spiritual appreciation. The mind remains curious only for rhetorical arguments. Here we have to ask these questions. Is such an attitude prevalent among us? A mentality of harshly criticizing, a tendency to inhumanly condemn, without any consideration to humaneness or acceptance or self-examination. May we be able to root out all such pessimistic mindsets and focus instead on instead on growth in holiness and humility. Let us seek the intercession of Saint John of the Cross, whose feast we celebrate today. He is the great saint of mystical theology, the author of the classics like Ascent of Mount Carmel. Dark night of the soul, etc. To his words, let us give heed. A soul enkindled with love is a gentle, meek, humble, and patient soul. We must dig deeply in Christ. He is like a rich mine with many pockets containing treasures. However deep we dig, we will never find their end or their limit. So, my dear brothers and sisters, acknowledge every blessing and praise our Lord Jesus through our life. Let us be the new witnesses to this modern world and bring Jesus into the life of many. Regina Jenny, let her